We love him because he first loved us. Two quotations from the scriptures painted above windows in this church, the Church of the Holy Trinity in Preston Wynn. A very warm welcome to this online service for the second Sunday before Lent on this rather chilly but fresh spring morning here in Preston Wynn. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace, mercy, and peace from God our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. And also with you. One of the main themes of this morning is light, the light of Christ. And it's a great pleasure that the Reverend Alison Lee will be preaching to us on that subject a little later. But now we reflect on the morning filled with Christ's light in our first hymn. secrets are hidden. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Lord Jesus Christ said, the first commandment is this, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is the only Lord. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this, love your neighbour as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Amen. Lord have mercy. God so loved the world that he gave his only Son to save us from our sins, to be our advocate in heaven, and to bring us to eternal life. Therefore let us confess our sins in penitence and faith, 
firmly resolve to keep God's commandments and to live in love and peace with all. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and against our neighbour in thought and word and deed, through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We are truly sorry and repent of all our sins. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past and grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And so as God's Forgiven people, we join the song of the angels and sing together the Gloria. Glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. Lord God. Let us pray. Almighty God, you have created the heavens and the earth and made us in your own image. Teach us to discern your hand in all your works and your likeness in all your children. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is with you and the Holy Spirit reigning supreme over all things, now and forever. Amen. Amen. And so Michael is going to read for us now from Paul's letter to the Colossians. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. For in him all things in heaven and on earth were created, things visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions or rulers or powers, all things have been created through him and for him. He himself is before all things, and in him all things hold together. He is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, so that he might come to have first place in everything. For in him all the fullness of God was pleased to dwell, and through him God was pleased to reconcile to himself all things, whether on earth or in heaven, by making peace through the blood of his cross. For the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. 
Glory to to you, O Lord. Lord. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of all. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came for testimony, to bear witness to the light, and that all might believe through him. He was not the light, but came to bear witness to the light. The true light that enlightens every person was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made through him, yet the world knew him not. He came to his own home, and his own people received him not. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us, full of grace and truth. We have beheld his glory, glory as of the only Son from the Father. This is the Gospel of our Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Some of you may remember that I have written some plays. Now, at the beginning, I thought I had to point out everything, because people might not work it out for themselves. And I was told to show, not tell. Oh, it was drummed into me. Show, not tell. Telling people what sort of God God is, or even if he existed, is not enough. The darkness, the light shining in the darkness, is something of, shows something. It shows people. It shows what's going on. A young man enters a room full of people who are obviously unhappy just mooching around, looking down, some people hiding in a corner. He starts to dance, and gradually people stop to watch him. The dance was so joyful, they couldn't help watching him. And gradually, they all stopped to watch. And when he finished the dance, they all clapped and wanted to talk to him. Till someone asked, but, What did it all mean? The young man says, if I could tell you what it meant, I wouldn't have needed to dance. And if I could tell you what this painting meant, then, there would be no need for the painting. And if I could tell you what this poem meant, there'd be no need to tell you. And then I could tell you what God is like, but then there'd be no need for Jesus. He is the dance of God. He invites us to join in. He is God speaking to us in our own language, and he shows the beauty and mystery of God. And if I could tell you what love is, said Jesus, then there will be no need to die for you. God is the light shining in our darkness. We all need light. Some people are afraid of the dark. And with all that's happening now, there's a lot of that fear around. Fear of death. There were a lot of people in the room when the light went out. Chaos broke out. 
people bumping into each other, so treading on each other's toes and pushing. It was mayhem. Someone shouts, has anyone got a torch? He had a little one. Someone reduced that and it didn't help much. Stay there, says the man. He makes his way into the torch holder. If you come with me, together we can restore the light. The man leads the way to the fuse box and the torch showed him what to do. Light was restored. Together we can make a difference. It's not enough just to go to church or to join in worship from home. We need to show God's light by what we do for others. Not worrying over whether people will scorn us. We can be God's light in the world by what we do, by what we say. Remembering that God is ahead of the body, the church. He has already made peace through his blood on the cross. But if we keep silent, too many people will remain in darkness. I have found that if people believe in God, they blame him for all that's gone wrong. I've had people just say to me, well, not many people are going to church after this, will they? And I asked her why. She couldn't answer. They, some people blame God for everything that's gone wrong. They remain in darkness. Keeping silent is not an option. Jesus spent the whole of his life trying to tell people just what selfless love meant. Real love. Love in capital letters. Do unto others what you would like them to do for you and more. God's light shines in the darkness and the darkness does not overcome it. May we shine too, even if other torches, with other torches, and our light will be brighter. Psalm 18 says, it's God speaking, you also, no, it's a man speaking, you also shall light my candle, the Lord my God shall make my darkness to be bright. Amen. And so let us declare our faith in God in the words of the Nicene Creed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, True God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy, Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come.
Let us pray to God for the healing of all that mars the perfection of his creation. Let all people look on the wonders of your creation and praise your power. In towns and cities and in the lonely places, bring your healing presence to heal the fever of the world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Guide the church to preach your word with power and confidence and with sensitivity to the needs of each individual. Give your people wisdom to know when to be firm and when to give way. Be with us both in public worship and in silent recollection of your presence. Lord, in your mercy, hear hear our prayer. Teach us to be servants of all, helpful to those with whom we pass our lives. Come into our homes to calm our unrest and ease our troubles. Lord, in your mercy, hear hear our prayer. We pray for those who are ill or housebound at this time. Jean Archer, John Benson, Vic Burles, June and Elizabeth Gwynne, Mike Henderson, Janet Lloyd, Ray Williams, Rhoda Woodcock, and all those at St Michael's Hospice. Comfort and relieve those who suffer in mind or body. Give skill and compassion to all who do the work of healing. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We give thanks for those who, drawing their strength from you in this world, have yielded their souls into your care. Elizabeth Amor, Fred Downs, Doris Stevens, Grant Vincent, and Joyce Vickers. And we pray for their families at this time. And Lord, as we remember before you the many who have died, surround us and all who mourn with your strong compassion. Be gentle with us in our grief, protect us from despair, and give us grace to persevere with hope in Jesus Christ, our risen Lord. Amen. Amen. Merciful Father, accept accept these these prayers. prayers for the sake sake of your Son, our our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Christ. Amen. Amen. We are the body of Christ. In the one spirit we were all baptised into one body. Let us then pursue all that makes for peace and builds up our common life. Wherever you are this morning, the peace of the Lord be always with you and also with you.
Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to set before you, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to set before you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us the cup of salvation. Blessed be God forever. The Lord is here. His Spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give the Lord thanks and praise. It is right to do so. Blessed are you, Lord God, our light and our salvation. To you be glory and praise for ever. From the beginning you have created all things and all your works echo the silent music of your praise. In the fullness of time you made us in your image, the crown of all creation. You give us breath and speech that with angels and archangels and all the powers of heaven we may find a voice to sing your praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the How wonderful the work of your hands, O Lord! As a mother tenderly gathers her children, you embraced a people as your own. When they turned away and rebelled, your love remained steadfast. From them you raised up Jesus, our Saviour, born of Mary, to be the living bread, in whom all our hungers are satisfied. He offered his life for sinners, and with a love stronger than death, he opened wide his arms on the cross. On the night before he died, he came to supper with his friends. Taking bread, he gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to them, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. At the end of supper, taking the cup of wine, he gave you thanks and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ, Christ has died. Christ, Christ is risen. Christ, Christ will come again. Father, we plead with confidence his sacrifice made once for all upon the cross. We remember his dying and rising in glory, and we rejoice that he intercedes for us at your right hand. Pour out your Holy Spirit as we bring before you these gifts of your creation. May they be for us the body and blood of your dear Son. As we eat and drink these holy things in your presence, form us in the likeness of Christ and, and build us into a living temple to your glory. Remember, Lord, your church in every land. Reveal her unity, guard her faith and preserve her in peace. Bring us at the last with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Michael, Nicholas, Ethelbert, the King, and all the saints, to the vision of that eternal splendour for which you have created us, through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, 
in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, Almighty Father, for ever and ever. Blessing and honour and glory and power be yours for ever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins. who takes away the sin of the world. Happy are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. In making a spiritual communion, may, you may like to join with me in this prayer. Thanks be to you, Lord Jesus Christ, for all the benefits you have given me, for all the pains and insults you have borne for me. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart, O most merciful Redeemer, friend and brother. May I know you more clearly, love you more dearly, and follow you more nearly, day by day. Amen. Bye. 
Thank you, Lord, that you have fed us spiritually in this sacrament, united us with Christ, and given us a foretaste of the heavenly banquet, prepared for all peoples. Amen. Amen. Thank you. 
The peace of God which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you this day and always. Amen. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. Amen.